channel so today I'm going to be doing a DIY for you guys and I had a lot of fun making this DIY and I think this DIY will really spice up your room or any spot in your house that you want something kind of unique and fun so what I'm going to be showing you how to do is I'm going to be showing you how to do this geometric picture frame on your wall this is super simple it's basically string some nails slash thumbnails and pictures obviously and paper clips so if you want to see how to do this simple geometric picture frame and then go ahead and keep watching hey guys so you're gonna need a notebook you're gonna need some thumbnails some string along with some pictures that you took or you printed out I took these with my Polaroid camera you're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need a hammer you're also gonna need some scissors and some thumbnail slash tacks to put your picture up so right here I am drawing out my design that I want for my picture frame you this is an important step because you're gonna have to draw this onto your wall with a pencil and you're just gonna want to know how you're gonna put it on your wall so I sketched mine out beforehand and yeah so right here I am drawing it on my wall you don't have to be a really good drawer to do this you just have to kind of like sketch it out it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna erase this anyways and you're gonna want to do this light because like I said you're gonna have to erase it because you're gonna be putting thumbnails in and string on top of it so yeah you're just gonna want to draw this out I made mine really big because I wanted it to go all the way up my wall but you guys can make this whatever size you want it's really good because th this is super customizable to whatever customized design you want so I kind of did a lot of triangles I wanted them to look really geometric slash like gems so that's what I did right there and I feel like the gem design really makes the whole geometric feel of it so much more better so now onto the thumbnail part we're just gonna nail these into the wall and I am kind of focusing in on the center of the shape and then I'm gonna I'm kind of putting it on the outside of the shape as well on different points and now I'm just erasing the lines to put the string up and I kind of did this as I went along so I'm just tying the string onto the thumbnail in a knot and then I'm kind of swirling it around and then just putting it around it again and then I'm using the eraser to erase some more and I'm using like one piece of string and I'm just continuing wrapping it around the thumbnail and kind of following it's like connecting the dots so we're just going to connect the dots as we go along so you can use your pencil eraser or you can find a really big eraser and erase the rest of the lines and make your life so much easier so I'm just erasing the lines and I am using my big mistake eraser that I love so just keep erasing and erasing until you get it done and then you can use your little pencil and erase the lines right next to the thumbnail to get in those fine line areas so you don't have any pencil line on your wall so now we're just using that same piece of string not yet we're almost there we're using the piece of string and we're just continuing wrapping it around those lines and if you have to fix your thumbnail and put it back on you can by just you know using your um, hammer so I just did that and then if it you mess it up that's okay you can just fix it by unwrapping it and then wrapping it back around and then tying it in a knot so yeah that's kind of what you do for this whole process it's super simple and it's just really easy so I'm just gonna do this all the way around this this area and also if it's okay if you run out of string because I ran out of string and it, I had to use different colors and it ended up looking really nice and I thought it gave it a really nice colorful kind of look to it when it was all done so just you're just gonna want to keep doing that just keep tying it and putting it around everywhere you want all following the lines connecting the dots so just uh, you can just watch this for a minute so you guys can get a better feel of it so yeah that's kind of what you do just all over
once you're almost done with your project, you will get to this point and you can do a little happy dance because that means you're done with this part of the project, the pretty much the hardest part. So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like all together with no pictures on it. I think it's really cool, really simple. I mean, you could definitely leave it like this and you could just have a really nice, interesting design on your wall to spice up your house and it looks really good like that. And this is kind of like a close-up of what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. You can also opt out for using um, thumbnails and you can use nails. I just didn't have enough nails to do this project, so I used thumbnails. So now, on to picture time! I have this Instamatic camera that I've been using over the past year, and I just collected a bunch of Polaroids, and I wanted it a cool way to spice up my wall, so those are the pictures that I'm going to be using. Now, you're going to want to take some handy-dandy regular paper holders like that and I got these at Target they were like two dollars for a pack of 50 and you just literally just put them on your string like that and it just works really good and I they hold them in place they don't fall off or anything and you just want to do that until you have all your pictures on there I am really excited to have this on my wall it's a good like icebreaker when someone comes to your house because they can look at them and be like oh this is really cool how did you make that and you can just tell them that you made it yourself and they can be like oh my god that's so awesome so yeah just put your pictures up on there and you are pretty much done with this diy So this is the final product. I am super happy with how this came out. I think this is awesome and I'm so happy that I did it. It took me about, well it would have only taken me one day but I ran out of supplies so I had to go to the store and get new supplies so it took me like two days but honestly this if you had all the supplies it would only take you like one night. So that's the final product. It's really awesome and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends because you guys can show each other how to make this and you guys could do this together. It'd be super fun crafting night. So yeah, this is what the final product looks like. So if you guys like my DIY videos, then make sure you give me a thumbs up and share this with your friends because I personally like making DIYs. I think they're really fun and I like watching them. So if you guys like this simple DIY, then give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to get this video to 100 likes, so if this can get 100 likes, I would be really, really happy and that'd be so awesome. And also, you guys should definitely click my magical subscribe button right here. Make sure you click it because I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. So help me get there by clicking this and click this because it'd be awesome. So yeah, so yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!